So, you know how I told you that I had all of from now until when your friends show up is blocked out so we can get everything ready? Evidently not! <laughs> we picked up two bookings over the weekend. We got somebody coming in this upcoming weekend and next weekend. Oh no! I mean, oh, we, we can do this! <laughs> That's we got fine. Somebody, we got somebody coming this weekend. Wow. We got it. Next weekend. We got it. We got this. It's so good to see you here. This is my first week here, so welcome to this week's vlog. And I am excited finally to be here and I get to be here for three whole months we have so much to do it's unbelievable no, we don't have anything to do this week we have to get the mm, uh, woodsman cabin yep uh, up and running a hundred percent because we have guests on Friday, Friday. Yes. which we didn't surprise. know about surprise that's okay, we can do this. But I, I think that it's not gonna take us really long. It's really close. It's just a couple of cleaning things and a little mm. bit of rearranging. Cool, what else? well, let's get to it. All right. I'm really glad that I labeled all of my boxes very thoroughly. And, but even so, opening them up on this end, it's like Christmas. It's my favorite thing to do. Uh-oh. <laughs> Ooh. I can stop at any time. I don't have a problem. Precious. So are we going to clean that off and uh, hang it back up? I guess. I just don't know how long it's going to take to clean off. I mean, we don't need to knock the rest off, but... Well, all we need to do is I would take the power washer to it and then... Uh... Somebody paid $35 for it. Oh, wow. That's actually cheap. Yeah. I'd power wash it and then maybe put some oil on it. Okay. Well, I'll set it outside for the moment. Yeah. It's big. Big. It's screwed together with pocket screws. So I could probably take it apart and we can move the sections. Yeah. That's easier and we just pick them up better. and move them. I feel like most of our job is moving furniture from one place to another, <laughs> but that will not last forever. Today is the second day that I have been here for a full day that hasn't been returning U-Hauls and unloading and all of that stuff. Yesterday we focused on the Woodsman cabin and I, you know, I got a lot done. I was bloody exhausted by the end of the day. Looking around here, we have so much to do. It's just everywhere. Everywhere you look, it's like, oh, I have to 
chop that wood and cut that grass and move this and make a trail and fix up this cabin and and repair this and repair that because everything that we had was broken and I think that the only way to succeed is to just choose something and just do it and and focus and uh, you know this this place in some ways is somebody with ADHD's uh, it's like a, a nightmare because there is it's so overwhelming choose one thing do that one thing and then move on from there the hardest part really I'm finding is making myself stop and take a break uh, it's it's really hard for me to take a day off because I'll be sitting here and I'll be like oh well I've got all this other stuff that I should be doing and I'll and I'll just do it because the first thing that we have to do this morning is load up a bunch of this stuff that we cleaned out of here and got rid of and there's some trash from emptying things out but I mean it's really starting to come together the kitchen cabinet is really starting to look good we've got dishes in the cabinetry all organized and clean and ready to go we rearranged this area the living space looks so much better than it did the TV totally works so we've got YouTube of course and then we brought this table in in the corner and it is a lot more efficient and then this place is about Gonna be ready to go. Okay, Brian, what are we? What are you gonna work on uh, today? Well, I don't know. I don't know what's wrong with this step. I think it's a perfectly good step as long as you, you know, step on the right side. You know, just don't step over here. <laughs> that's safe. <laughs> so that's what I'm gonna be working on for a while. So what's your plan? Well, I got these pavers and what I'm thinking about doing is just like just digging out here and making this level. It's going to be a little bit of a taller step at the bottom. That's a really tall step. But it'll be a nice flat step. It's not going to be reliant on this rotting wood or anything like that. And it'll be much more permanent and safer. That's really coming together. About how long do you think it, uh, that's, it hasn't been like, it's like been... 20 minutes. I know, yeah, it's like almost incredibly short and easy. Oh, we probably shouldn't say that stuff out loud. I know. <laughs> look for me, look for me, over here. Here I am, come here. And she comes upstairs instead. That's <laughs> Aww. She's having a good time. And a little less than an hour later, it's there we have pretty. a cool little step. Yeah, nobody's gonna die. At least we hope not. Yeah, that would be bad. So how crazy, don't, yeah. that's talking at the camera. At the camera? <sighs> Patience, dear God. Patience. <laughs> oh well, there's waspness up there. We'll yeah, knock those down. Um, okay, so how crazy is this idea? Probably pretty crazy. Uh, all right. So these fit. This fits perfectly in between here. How hard would it be to just take like a little your little saw thing, whatever you call it, and cut it here and here so that it sits up against the wall? Uh, it would probably make more sense to put a little block of wood here and here. Is what I'm thinking. Well, it wouldn't look as good. I think it would look just as fine because you could hide it behind here. Yeah, I know, but I mean, see then it. it wouldn't be like, it wouldn't be built in. It'd be built out. Maybe we should let our viewers decide. All right, so if you think I'm right and we should cut this and attach it flat to the wall, then let us know. If you think that we should just put little, little sad, little pitiful blocks <laughs> under it, way to rig the survey then uh then let us know what do you think 
It's my first trip to the dump. It's amazing how much crap we have to throw away. There is no trash pickup in our uh, in our area, so we have to haul all of our trash out. So, how was the dump, honey? <laughs> Was that everything you dreamed? That was that was super exciting. <laughs> yeah. So glad we, we made it. Um, so this is a, a uh, in-town trip. Uh, when we go into town, we like to do multiple things at once. So we make lists. So I've got a grocery list. And we both have lists in our phones. And we have lists literally everywhere so that... Um, so that we don't have to go back right away. Yeah. Which of course, you know, you always get back and you're like, oh, we forgot this thing. Yeah, the first thing you do when you get back is you start a new list. So, but, uh, going into the big city, I put I put my nice jeans on. We got all gussy up. We did. <laughs> so we left, what time did we head out? About noon, 11.30 noon? Yeah, something like that. And uh, it's now after 6 p.m. and we are heading back. And we have so much stuff that we've bought. We've bought two ceiling fans. We've bought uh, three sets of pots and pans for different places. We've bought groceries. Uh, we've bought towels. So many things. But we, uh, we probably don't need to leave again. For another week and a half. Well, ideally for another week and a half. Hopefully, you know, it's like two days and we're like, oh my God, we forgot this one important thing. But, uh, but yeah, that was a lot of money. <laughs> and we are back. And I bet we have a dog that really needs to pee. <laughs> I really need to pee. Oh yeah. Good morning, Kevin Ears. Please Yester tell him that Cabineers is a dumb name. It's a cool name. It's awesome. You're going to love it. You'll get used to it and then everybody will be using it and it'll have started right here. It sounds like the Mouseketeers. Yeah, what's wrong with the Mouseketeers? It's children's stuff. It sounds like Cabin Pioneers. That's what it sounds like because that's what we're doing here. So the last couple of days have been really busy and uh, not a lot of filming done. No. Uh, we've been too busy working to do a lot of filming. So I'll catch up on what you what we've been doing is uh, finishing all the 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 little bits and pieces that you have to do to get a cabin ready to rent out. All the little detailing work. Yeah. So uh, Brian did some grout work. He got out his tractor and did some uh, mowing. Uh, we did cleaning. He fixed the lamp. Yep. We did. Uh, um, I can't even remember what all I've done. Yeah. It's been so much. Bad news is we I turned on the water to the Mountaineer and there's leaks. So that means in order to get the Mountaineer running, I have to redo all the plumbing on the Mountaineer. But on the end to end of the day, on the good news, we got this big huge scraper thing that we can use to scrape dirt and, and uh, scrape the driveway and make the driveway level and flatten out some areas around the property. The bad news is this thing weighs a ton. And when I got it, the guy put it in here using the little forklift thing on his tractor to get it in here. And I have no idea how the heck I'm getting it out of here. So I don't know, I got half a mind to back this thing up to a tree tie the thing to a tree and just jerk the truck out from underneath it. Let's see if we can get it out here first, because if we do that, that's going to mess up the bed of the truck and stuff, so. I mean, because we could get it. All right. Where do you want it to end up? Just out here someplace because I'll disconnect Which the... Which way is up? Up is up. 
this that, is this is that up. just goes to the tractor and that is, that up. is up yeah okay because that way if we we don't yeah. want to tip it over no well and i can flip it over if it does tip over i think because so. can't we just sort of slide it that's kind of what i'm going for right here <laughs> Let's go this way with it. Watch your toes. There we go. That's good. That wasn't as bad. That, that could have been a lot terrible. worse. Yeah. <laughs> so, what are you planning on doing today? Uh, I think I'm going to go up into the Mountaineer and uh, start cleaning, mucking it out, okay. taking out stuff. All right, I'm going to take, or I'm going to remove the bush hog from the tractor and attach the scraper. But then I got a couple more things I need to do in the woodsman first that I want to get started first. And then maybe this afternoon I'll get around to like doing some scrape work. I have a basic understanding of how the three point hitch system works, but I've never really taken one off and changed an implement around. So this is going to be a little interesting. right off. I'm going to get a hunk of rope and tie this thing up so it's not in my face. I'll be right back. I'm seeing a pin. You can't see it. Oh, there it is. It just pulls right out. It just pushes right out. Ah. ah, okay. So there's this little slip pin here that you push it to the side and it releases the gizmo and it just pops right out. All right, now let's hook up the scraper. So this should be pretty straightforward. It's just the one, two, three points to the one, two, three points. One, one point. Ah, 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 ah. down. And three. Not quite as tough as I thought it was going to be. Hello, here it is on a Friday morning. I have been here for just a week and it has been a very, very busy week. We have been really 
doing a ton of work and so today we're gonna have a little bit of a break and we're gonna go to the farmers market and check it out it's a little early in the season for good uh, produce but we'll see what we can find bread because that's what they have. They don't have the banana nut bread. I do not see banana anywhere. I see the word pumpkin everywhere. All right, we'll try pumpkin then. Okay. You want some radishes? Yes, I do. All right. So we just got back from the Amish market. Burp. And ate a salad so for lunch. <laughs> and bought this lovely pumpkin bread mm. Mm, and strawberries and strawberries which we've already had a couple of and they're really good so we'll try the pumpkin bread yeah cool all right you want all me right. to go yeah you go. all right i'll go i'll tell you if it's any good do, 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 do. <laughs> they're sitting here watching us eat hey people watch that stuff all the time well, that's terrible. You're not going to want any of it. Uh huh. <laughs> kind of like the strawberries were. Mm hmm. Yeah. yeah. I can definitely taste the pumpkin. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it does not taste like pumpkin pie, but it definitely tastes pumpkin. And it's very good. Mm hmm. It's not too pumpkin. Yeah. Two thumbs up for the farmer's market. I could eat this entire thing. Mm hmm. I probably could too. I'll just have one more piece. <clears throat> so when do we want to do a um, little Q&A session or a, or mostly A because we don't really have <clears throat> any. When people do Q. Well. So do Q so you can get some A. <laughs> <laughs> so to translate Brian, <laughs> if you have any questions about what we do here, why we bought this place, um, what the plan is, uh, then go ahead and put it in the comments below and we can uh, try and answer some of those questions. Yes, we will. Wow, so it's been quite a week here, hasn't it? Yes, we have been super busy all week and uh, we have got the uh, woodsman cabin ready for our very first guest. Yeah, it looks awesome in here, guys. You need to come by and see it. We're very happy. Um, and... Oh, we got our got the scraper, so I'll be scraping down the driveway pretty soon, but uh, I got the, uh, the fire pit area finished, and that looks really good. Mm -hmm. And um, the only thing we have to left to do in here for our first guests next uh, weekend is make the beds and put out the towels, and we'll be doing that last minute. Yeah. So they are fresh. And that's it. If you like this video, please consider subscribing. And follow us on Instagram and Facebook at Star Mountain Retreat. See you next time. Bye. <laughs>